Hello everybody, this is Obase and Bread84, back with another episode of Geometry Dash, and this one is not actually a demon list video. And the reason I'm saying that, even though you probably saw, oh, I didn't mean to click that, even though you probably saw from the thumbnail, is because I'm worried I'm accidentally gonna use the thumbnail for the, uh, what is it, the, the series, you know, the platformer list series, whatever, I don't know. I'm worried I'm accidentally gonna use that thumbnail. But if I don't, then you already know what this is. We are playing Deeper Space. Ooh, but apparently there is one called just Deep Space. Like, this is this is the Deeper Space one. Um, but apparently there was one released a few years ago called just Deep Space. So I kind of want to play that one. Tell you what, let's do Deeper first and then we can do Deep Space. Okay. So as stated, I've already played a little bit of space affairs but that was um on a different computer so i do have that slightly spoiled but other than that i'm excited so we'll start at the beginning it's gonna be cool okay looks like a 2.1 level so far a good 2.1 level but still kind of like a you know one of the 2.1 gauntlet levels nothing too impressive so far Oh, there's coins! Nice. Wow, this is actually a really cool section right here for the stars. It feels very open, and I like that. Aw, dang it. Whoa! Whoa! What? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! Okay, now I see why this was so hyped up. Wow, okay. Wow! Oh my goodness! Wow! It's, it's three dimensional. An actually cool looking 3D. I'm like the what? 98%. That's. You know what? It won't happen next time. This time, I won't die there. I'm sad it took me more than one attempt to beat a three star. Hold on. Actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna play level one more time because I wanna get that key. I wanna I wanna get the coins. But yeah, this level is so cool. I mean it doesn't start off as anything special, just oh dang it, I missed the key. Well oh, that's fine. But, you know, once you get 70% of the way through, that's where it starts getting crazy. Okay, well, I missed two coins, but I can still get the last one. But that swing part, while not technically impressive, just feels really fun to play. Like, because of how open it feels. I love it when games feel open. Not necessarily in an open world thing, although I love open world games. Yeah, wow. Great first impression, even though I've already played like the first 10% of Space Invaders. But you know what, this is cooler. Space Invaders. We also actually only need to six of these levels to get the things. So if Space Invaders and the one medium demon here are too hard, then. I died at the very last jump. Okay, that's embarrassing. Luckily, it was a three star, so. Yeah, oh, that was, that was a great level. You can't tell me that that's only, like, that isn't a blue flame. I don't know, mythic, or I don't know what they call it. Anyways, that one was a bit easy, but hopefully, Groovy Tower is a bit more of a challenge. Probably not, since it's only a four star. Normally, anything five stars or lower, I'd be on my first try. Although I kind of like that because it allows me to 
experience these levels. Okay, this is pretty cool. This feels a lot more like a 2.2 level with the camera controls. Wow, that coin looks really hard. Maybe there's a mini ship you have to do. Ooh, I love these sections and levels where it goes back and forth like this. Like a dash or dastardly or dash full version. I love it when levels do something like this. Where you, you know, go from back and forth from one side of the screen to the other. Like that. It's, it's so cool. That was a short level. It is really cool probably gonna favorite all of these levels because they're amazing they're just so good let's do clown party 14 sound effects interesting wonder what did that mean for this this, this looks like a recent tab level so far i mean not that that's a bad thing i like recent tab levels sometimes but uh, this looks like something i could make <laughs> so far I like the little things to believe though, that's pretty cool. One times nine. Times nine. What? What? What was that? That was weird. I like how everyone's wearing clown noses. It's a tiny little touch. But yeah, it's just using the basic default background here and, you know, default floor. I guess that's why it feels like a recent tab level. It's one of the defaults. Well, not one of... You know, it's something you change in the background settings or whatever, but... Oh, that's weird. I was in robot last time here, but now I'm in Q. I didn't know there were spikes there. It was a bit difficult to see. Yeah, so I need to touch people with cloud noses to get the honking sound effect and to get that coin. Yeah, this level's pretty fun though. It's a very unique level. Yeah, I guess I just jumped over the uh, cube portal last time. I mean, the first time. But... Yeah, this level, this is definitely what I was meaning when I said I wanted a bit of a harder level. That was parts when you're in the haunted house or whatever, they break my brain. Like, I don't understand what's going on. I gotta remember which direction we're going in. Okay. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, oh no, this is, looks like, this looks hard. Oh wait, I thought that was an arrow like I was gonna go in the pipe. Okay. Oh, that's a shame. pretty cool level. I mean, I think I prefer the other two just because they look more vibrant, but this one's definitely the most unique. I like all of these. Dang it.
circus, not a haunted house. I guess that makes more sense, considering it's clown themed. But given this seems like a pretty spooky level, so I wouldn't put it past that you have a haunted house, especially considering how many people think clowns are scary for some reason. And look, if you're afraid of clowns, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. You know, I don't want to, you know, make fun of people for what they're scared of. Everyone has that one very strange thing they're scared of, but like, Personally, I've just never understood what's scary about clowns. I mean, yeah, like, things like the Joker and It, they're definitely scary, but, like, you know, just normal circus clowns, I don't, I don't think they really are scary. I mean, they're not really funny, either. I don't enjoy clowns, but I'm not afraid of them. Although, given they do kind of look creepy with the face makeup, I guess it's kind of like an Uncanny Valley type situation, where, you know, they don't look like a human, they're doing weird things that... No normal humans aren't able to, like, fit in the car, or other weird clown shenanigans. Clowns do. They blow balloons, they make balloon animals, I don't know. This part, while being stressful, is really cool with the kites. This is pretty hard for a 6 star. This feels more like a 7 star to me. Definitely the hardest level so far. I mean, I think they're supposed to get harder as they go along. But, yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, this actually feels like a sub-zero level. That's what this feels like. This feels like a sub-zero level. Ah, uh, I, I forget where the spikes are because I'm not paying attention. I go by muscle memory and that doesn't work. Yeah, I, I don't like that section of the circus actually. It's, it's unique and it's cool, but it's it's too confusing. It's not like one of those cool things where you go back and forth. It's like there are sections where like you change like for example you change modes off screen. But normally those are signified with a sign like you know you're about to change into spider, which I really like. This level doesn't really do that. Once you're out of that section, though, it's pretty fine outside of that jump with the red pipe there because it can be kind of confusing. Fire. This section is really cool. It almost looks like Jebel. <laughs> Whoa, what? Oh, gosh. This is stressful. This part's really cool, though. There's, like, an audience. Oh, that was a swing section? I thought I thought it was, like, a... Where, where? I thought it was, like, a ship or a wave or something. See, there should have been some sort of indication that was going to be a swing section. Like, it should have been like a sign said, you know, that had the swing portal logo on it. Because I was really confused there. Luckily, this is one of the shorter levels of the thing so far. The hardest part outside that circus part, which is the hardest part, the part I just completed. Ah, oh, dang it! Hardest part overall past that is like the merry-go-round part, you know, the jevil part. 
Something I do want to say about these levels is I kind of wish they had a way to hook you from the beginning, because, like, it takes a while for the really cool stuff to happen. Like, at the beginning of this level, it's just, like, a Sub-Zero level. There's nothing special about a Sub-Zero level. It's just pretty plain looking. It isn't until, like, you get to that end section with the audience that it gets really cool. So if I was them, like, you know, even in the first level, nothing really impressive happens until the halfway point. And then towards the end of the level, you get crazy stuff like the three-dimensional figures and stuff. I would some of the cool stuff at the beginning, in my opinion, if I was making these levels. Boom, boom, boom. 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 Boom, boom. Yeah, that spike right there messes with me. The second room isn't as bad, if you know what you're doing. Yeah. If I was designing this, that red pipe that you have to jump off of, I would make that two little pipes instead of one big pipe, so it's clear you're not gonna go into it. I know I'm complaining a lot, but this level is still really cool. Yeah, this part where you go upside down is cool. See, when you transform into the ship there, it actually does a good job. It warns you what you're going to do. Uh, see, when you go up in a swing like that, I always think, oh, that means we must be going in the up direction. And so I click again to go down, but it was just a jump pad, and we're already going down. And that really confuses me. Like, it should be more clear what direction you're going in. Because there's no actual tell. This is not something of level, it's something of Rob Top designing the swing. There's no actual indicator with the swing whether you're going up or down other than the direction you're tilted in. And the direction you're tilted in can be changed with jump pads and orbs. So, you know, I feel like he should, like, maybe put a dot on one side of it when it's going one certain direction. I know, this, this red pipe right there, that one I'd make it more clear you have to jump off of and not just wait to go through. Uh, this merry-go-round part's really cool. And the UFO actually fits it really well. But this audience part is the best part by far. It's just so impressive and cool. And I like the on whole encore thing. I got eaten at the end there. <laughs> That was still a good level, though. Not quite good enough to make... Yeah, I'll... Whatever. It is fine. Fire exit. This one, just from the thumbnail, looked really... Wait, XL at only a minute, two seconds? Maybe because you go really fast. But, yeah, this one looked really cool because... Um... It looked like it was one of those where you go back and forth. No, I'd love a level where you, like, climb a tower by going back and forth. But, like, in classic mode, using the back-and-forth things, that'd be really cool. Because with platformer, it's nothing special. Oh, yeah, this is kind of like that one part in the Explorer's teaser. I really wish they came up with their own backgrounds instead of using some of the default ones. Like, if you have the creativity to make all this cool stuff, why are you still using the default backgrounds? I mean, I think these are supposed to feel like Rob Top levels, and he always uses the default backgrounds. Oh, it's random which one you go to. Whoa, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I'm not saying this like, if I was designing this, I would have... Well, okay, I am, but the thing is, I don't know how to design my own background, but the thing is... Judging by the first two levels, I'm pretty sure these guys know how to design their own backgrounds. It's those ones that had custom backgrounds. 
And also, they've created some of the coolest decoration I've ever seen in the Geometry Dash level. So, there's no way they're not able to create their own background. You know, if I was Rob Top, hold on, I came up with a cool idea. If I was Rob Top, I'd add an update at like 2.3 or 4 or 2.21 or one of the future updates. Where you could upload a custom image from your computer onto the background. And you might think that that's like a recipe for disaster, allowing anyone to, you know, put anything there. But my rebuttal for that is people can already do every anything they want in Geometry Dash because you can import like images with sprites and like make pixel art and stuff and people already make weird stuff so there being custom backgrounds wouldn't change much although i don't think rob top would want to do that considering he doesn't want to add custom songs which really sucks because like every time i get excited for the artist reveal it's always someone i've never heard of or don't the only one artist reveals i'd actually heard of when they came out were Sheer Bun, which, like, okay, I guess. I mean, I don't care. And Camellia, and I do not like Camellia. The levels in Beat Saber are fun, but the songs themselves suck. I don't get why people love them, personally. I just think we need some more diversity in Geometry Dash tracks. It's a... Wait, how did I die? It was as I was saying, I feel like we need some more diversity of genres. Instead of just electronic dubstep music, I feel like having some more. Well, okay, there's some classical songs there too, but like, you know, maybe some pop music or some rock music or uh, jazz, maybe. Jazz could be cool. Or like music from other video games, because that could fit with the electronic theming. Like, imagine like having the, I don't know, the Pizza Tower soundtrack. It's the first electronic video game soundtrack. Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't you love to have that music in Geometry Dash? I don't know, I just think Rub Top should take my notes. Yeah, I didn't die there. I think it's because I was upside down in the spider section. Also instantly transported there instead of like staying black for a little while until I died. So that's that's weird. Level's glitching out now. Yeah, what's going on with the level? It's glitching out. The, mu the music, at least. The level itself isn't really glitching out, but the music is going... It's just getting glitchier and glitchier. Oh, no. Okay. It worked that time. Ah, one of the cool little fan things, like in DAP. This is another one that I think is too hard to be a 6 star. I'd give this a 7 or 8 star, personally. But, I'm not in charge of ratings. Maybe I just suck at the game. But normally I'm able to beat 6 stars a lot more easily than this, so... Okay, make sure I stay down. last section it's super fast oh i went too fast and i overshot the blue thing okay this is this is frustrating On. Yes. This section's really cool. It feels exactly like something out of the Explorer's Preview. I think I prefer the thing in the Explorer's Preview, which I really wish I did see because I don't 
want any spoilers. But what? Did I die there? It didn't play the death thing. It just faded to black. I feel like this level's glitching out. If I die again, I'm gonna exit the level and re-enter it. Cause yeah, what? Yeah, no. The music definitely isn't supposed to sound like this. <laughs> I'm not just supposed to randomly die. Okay, it worked this time. Okay, back to the cool section in three, two, one. The music seems to be working better now, or working more well, or. Yeah, this section's stressful because of how fast you go. And since it's so late to the level, you're worried you're gonna mess up. What that happened? Again, I don't I don't get what's going on there. It's weird. And now it's working. It's like twice in a row that happened, and I don't see what I did what I could do differently. It's not like I can control my speed going in there, because like, you know, for the most part, classic modes are the set speed, but sometimes if you click orbs at different timings, you can kind of like, I guess, you know, get too much momentum or whatever, but, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it should have had extra blue thing next to it, you know, to account for uh, the extra momentum one might have. Okay, cool part again. Do, do, do. I don't know what the ones with the no signs on it are different be differently from the ones with the gems. I'm gonna try to jump as soon as possible and hope that fixes things. There we go. Okay. There we go. That was a cool level. I think I like it about the same as the clown one. About the same. It's a good level. Good level. Phone me for... Ooh, some wave gameplay. This looks good. This is the last non-insane or demon one. Meaning it's the last one I will not be insanely frustrated by. Because, like... Like, seven stars and six stars, I'm sometimes able to even first try. Because I'm pretty good at them. But the second it turns into an eight star, that's when it's just too much. Like, I I've obviously beaten demons. I mean, I've created a whole series about beating demons. But, like... You know, insane is where it starts getting really difficult. Sometimes insane levels can be harder than easy demons. If you take into account how most easy demons are like classic easy demons from, you know, when demons were first invented in like 1.1 or whatever. This, this looks like a really good level so far. I mean, I like this part, the spider. Ooh, it's a bit tricky there. Yo. Yo! That looks like it's going to lead to an epic beat drop. So hopefully we get back there on this attempt. So this is going to be the last easy level there is. After it, it's going to be pain. Pain and suffering and torment. Ah, I didn't. Good luck, bro. 
Oh, it did say yo this time. Okay, so that's where the wave part of the thumbnail is. Now it says yo. See, that was good indication right there. The arrows tell you it was going to go down instead of just going down by itself. That was good indication. And it gave you enough time to realize it was going to go down. That, that's good. That's better. Yep. This is definitely the best of the six star levels. Don't die now. I feel like that message would be better placed at the at the level. Like, you better not die now, you're about to win. Whoa! Ooh, that's cool. Dang it. Ah. Uh made some progress. That ball part was so cool. Wow. Yeah. This spider part is also really cool, though. Wait, why is there no message this time? Oh well. Maybe that's what one of the chances you can get for a message is just none at all. <laughs> That'd be funny. That was intentional. I doubt it was intentional though. Oh, I'm mini now. Oh gosh. This section's stressful. <gasps> oh, that's a teleport portal. That almost looks like something in deadlock with the swords around the teleport portal, giving me more flashbacks to deadlock. Great level, but one I'll, I don't think I'll ever want to play again because it's just it's that difficult. Do, do, do. Dang it. Yeah, but so far I can definitely see where all the hype is with these levels. They're really good. And in fact, after we beat this, we'll only need to beat one more, and then technically we would have beaten the list. I mean, of course, there's three more after this. An Insane, a Medium Demon, and a Hard Demon, if I remember correctly. The Hard Demon being Space Invaders, and the Insane one being on the run, and the Medium being something else. Also, apparently the developers of Deeper Space made their own mobile app you can download for this game. Which is just kind of hilarious, and I might actually get it, not only just to support the developers, but in case I'm ever bored on, like, an airplane or a car or something that I need fun levels to do, well, actually, no, a better thing would just be to play normal Geometry Dash and then play this list, but you know what? It means people who don't own Geometry Dash can play the levels, which are really cool. Although, give a Geometry Dash silly, like, it's like $4 on Steam and like only $2 on uh, mobile. Fun fact, when I was going to purchase the full version of um, Geometry Dash, I was originally going to get it on mobile because that's where I had all my save data saved or whatever. Wait, did I find the secret way? That'd be so funny. But, um... During that time, I did realize what it was at the time, but it was it was during that time where on Samsung it wouldn't work correctly because um, it had like the he hadn't updated in six years or whatever, you know that weird thing you no know, Android has or whatever, where you need to update mobile games every six years or whatever. And since 2.2 said took so long to come out, I just ended up getting it out. Steam instead, and I'm so thankful I did, because the Steam version is infinitely better. Playing with a mouse, you won't go back to playing with a mobile. I mean, 
I like playing with a touch screen, but playing with a mouse, oh, you won't go back, you won't go back. It's incredible. Mod. Crap. This is this is a pretty hard level. Definitely way better than the past two. Not saying the past two are bad. They're very good levels. But this one is my favorite. It's technologically impressive while also being fun. This might actually be my favorite level of the whole thing so far. I mean that first level with the three-dimensional spinning objects, that one was so impressive. I have to give it to that even if this looks more fun. Yeah, I think I'll give it to that first one. That one was just so cool. I forgot, what was the second one? The second one had some really good stuff. Right? That swing section feels a bit awkward. Whoa! Okay, that... That was so cool. Whoa! This is so cool. I'm at the edge of my seat, though, because I'm so worried I'm gonna die. I did it! Oh, that was so cool! That was such a cool ending, and it had kind of a castle thing. Yeah, that, that might be my favorite one so far. What was the second one? Ruby Tower. Oh, yeah, that one was cool. Only three more left, two of which are demons. But I guess we'll start with the non-demon, and then I will save the demons for next episode, or we can try them. But after this one, I'll be able to get the rewards from the list, which will be cool. Yeah, I do know this song, um, because I, I know most of the songs. Actually, no, I, know. I know who he is. He's, 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 he's just shakes his knees, which is like the first one. Worried the wave was gonna be upside down, but luckily it doesn't seem to. Nice little finger dash reference with the points there. Well, okay, it wasn't an intentional reference to finger dash, it was just something similar to what finger dash does. Which is cool. I'm gonna try and grab the keys this time and see what happens. Oh, that key might be a bit too difficult. We might have to skip the key. I just realized these keys are limbo colored, like the limbo keys. It's funny. Yeah, so I don't want the keys to be facing background. Default background is the thing. It's kind of disappointing, but you know what? I feel like it fits this level. Since this clearly takes place in Electronic City, it really feels like the city is alive and bustling with moving objects. I kind of like that. Maybe I'm overanalyzing these levels. I, I'm prone to do that, but... Yeah. See, the other cool thing is I like how with those spike jumps, there's spikes on chains above it to move out of the way, making it look way harder than actually is. Because in truth, that's basically just a, a single spike jump, but the one that's in the way before moving out of the way makes it feel like you just perfectly timed it right so that you could squeeze through before it came back down or, like, you know, as it was going up. Like, kind of like one of those things you see in, like, Indiana Jones or Adventure Movies or something where there's, like, a door closing, but they, like, left the bag or their hat, so they have to cl 
hurry under the door and then slide, like, slide under the door as it's closing down. Kind of like those things, you know, that's, that's what it feels like. But even though it is basically just a single spike jump, that's really cool. I mean, F definitely isn't the only level to do that. I've seen our levels do it. I just can't think about it off the top of my head. But it's still something cool. And if I ever figure out how to actually make decent levels, um, you know, I might, I might use that. Dang it. I gotta remember those are the teleport things. Ooh, that one was a bit confusing. Uh, That was cool where it was like duh, 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 with the spider orbs and the music. That was that's actually probably my favorite part of the level so far. That was really cool. Yeah, this level probably the hardest one so far. <laughs> but after this we have demons and uh it's not gonna be fun. Not going to be fun. <laughs> See if I can grab all the points this time. I did! Yay! Okay, it's not that hard. I mean, I guess since I've already done the one point at Finger Dash, I'm kind of used to what I'm supposed to do there. Dig it! I, I thought I was going to come out through the other side. I thought I was going to break on through the other side. That was a bad joke, I'm sorry. I've had that song stuck in my head all day, though. I don't even like the doors. Oh, okay, I'm not... I like the doors. Or see the thing is, the doors are cool, but I personally think the wheels have much more high quality stuff. In case you don't get that joke, it's part of the debate of like whether there's more wheels or doors on the planet. And for me, I actually don't have a set opinion on it because I I just am really not sure. so many different things to consider. I, not only would I not be able to think of all of them off the top of my head, but even listing all of them would take forever. So. But this is the really cool part right here, the spider. Yeah, I like that part. That's cool. Part after is a bit difficult. But that part with the the cube, that's that. That's some cool stuff. And especially the jump pads afterwards to accentuate the force. Yeah, so far this has probably been my favorite list of Geometry Dash. I know I'd be quite critical, but that's because I'm critical of everything. You can show me the greatest level ever, and unless it deeply appeals to my nostalgia, I'm going to be critical of some part of it. The only things I'm not going to be critical of are something that appears to my nostalgia or makes me emotional in some way, and Spongebob, because Spongebob is perfect. And nothing will ever top Spongebob. SpongeBob is not just the greatest cartoon, not just the greatest TV show, but the greatest piece of media ever conceived by mankind. And I'm not joking. I really love 
SpongeBob. I'll take it. And the great thing about SpongeBob is it's also kind of a morality test. If you don't like SpongeBob, the chances are you're probably not a very cool guy. The only people I know who like really hate SpongeBob aren't really cool guys. So, you know. Like, I'm not saying, like, immediately dislike someone if they dislike you less because some people just aren't able to appreciate your masterpieces. But, um, you know, I'm saying if you're already unsure about the morality, morale quality of someone and you're, and then he or she or they or whatever, um, says they don't like SpongeBob, immediately, that's it. The final straw that broke the camel's back. But like, don't they don't like the same show. That's quite shallow. I think once I get past like 75%, I should be able to do the rest of the level just based on adrenaline. From the rest of the rest of the level. By the way, does it like the mini fall? I think it could probably go slightly faster to accommodate the fact that, you know, it's smaller, but other than that, is there any, like, difference in its physics at all? I don't know. I'm excited for we can get Space Invaders, though, because I've heard that's the best level. And I played the first 10%. Pretty epic, I have to say myself. It's pretty cool. I mean, I think some of the levels I've already played in the rest of this list have more technologically cool things, but if it's anything like the rest of the list, the really cool things don't come until like halfway for some reason. So. Section is actually very similar to something you can expect to see in black. Dang it, I died there. I misinterpreted the situation. Having those kind of fake red blocks that I think kill you if you touch them kind of throws off my groove a little bit. Dang it, I messed up there. Surprise, this is only taking me 21 attempts. It felt like way more. Felt like I've been here for a solid hundred. Although I guess since most of the time when I'm grinding, like when I take a lot of attempts to do a level, it's normally hundreds because I'm playing like a demon level or something. Since I never play at safe levels, like if I want to play a hard level, I'll just play a demon and you know get that demon on my account and get my extra stars and orbs or whatever. Although something I can say is most of the time, nine stars are the best difficulty to find high quality platformer levels. If you want high quality platformer levels, search by the eight nine star insane difficulty levels. Those you'll find some bangers. I swear I jumped there. Bum 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 bum. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get the toy. Let's put more reference to Concentration time. Dang it. That section with the blue pads is hard. Once I get past that, I think I'll have the rest of the level down, but I'm not sure. I do kind of like how Rob Top made these levels feel. They definitely kind of feel like Rob Top levels. Are they as good as Rob Top levels? No, of course not. But they're still really technologically impressive. Well, actually, no, they are as good as Rob Top levels. I just, Rob Top levels are way more fun, I should say that. There's other parts of uh, how cool a level is other than by how enjoyable it is to play, like decoration and effort and the music sync. And it's more just gameplay. Gameplay wise, I don't think any creator will ever be Rob Top. Every single level he's made is fun. Many people keep this decoration style. It's mostly just to try to spice things up with decoration. Except for dash. Figure dash. Really good dash. And also there are some more tools in this disposal. Oh no. Swing. I'm bad at swing. I did it! Woo! I broke on through to the other side. Woo! Yeah, that was a good level. I think that might be my favorite one from a gameplay perspective so far. Yeah, so from a gameplay perspective, that one's my favorite, and Clown Party is probably my least favorite. But yeah. So now I can claim my 40 diamonds. And now all we have left is how we win in Space Bears. I'll try how we win for a little bit, but I might have to save it for another day. Oh, it's this song. I think I played like a half level or something to have this song. Or like something on list. Actually, you know what, I think I might do this. I might have to save Space Invaders. Although, judging by the fact that this is medium, it's probably gonna get a lot worse. Oh, this is cool. It's Yoli, Oli, Oli. Something block. Something big. Something in your bone. Something block. Something big. Something in your bone. Something block. Something big. Something in your bone. Something big. Sorry, I, I think this song. Okay, switch. Uh, okay, ah, uh, so you're supposed to quickly throw this. I see. Call me Blast, because I'm processing. This is awful. Oh 
way it changes each time. Oh, that's, that's cool. It's good to know. It's kind of like that one level, the first level of the castle gauntlet, like crash or something. It's like one word, smush or crash. Or Smash. That is confusing the ship section for the wave part. Something block. Something big. Something all the way, all the way. Something block. Something big. Something all the way, all the way. Something block. Something block. Something big. Something all the way, all the way. Something block. Something big. Something all the way, all the way. Something block. Something big. Something all the way, all the way. Oh, yo, 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 Something all way, all way. Something block. Something big. Dang it. Yeah, I think I might be able to beat this level today. Something big. Something all way, all way. Something block. Something big. Something all way, all way. Something block. Something big. Something all way, all way. I can't even tell what he's saying. No. It's some all way. Something big. Something all way, all way. Something block. Something big. No way, no way. Dang it. I just need to make it past that UFO section. I just want to see what's past it. Something no way, no way. Something black. Something big. Something no way, no way. Something black. Something big. Something no way. Something black. Something big. Something no way, no way. Something black. Istanbul A. Is he saying Istanbul A? Like Istanbul, the country, but then A. Istanbul A. Oh, it's a little electrodynamics there. I'm switching at high speed. I see your electrodynamics reference there. You thought hide it but nope red catches all I, re I feel like I should make more game commentary than just singing the song it's that bully something big Something all way, all way. Some black, some big. Some black, some big. Some black. Whoa. Whoa, that was cool. Hold accelerate, release the launch. Wait, is there like some sort of custom game mode there? That'd be cool. Some black. I'm gonna see whatever that section is, and then afterwards I'll probably save this tomorrow. Some block, some big, some no way, oh way, oh crap. Some no way, oh way, some block, some big, some no way, oh way, some block, some big, some no way, oh way, oh good, 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 good. That transition from the ship to Oh, I have to go to the middle this time. Hold to accelerate and release the launch. Okay. You know what? I'll just save this for next time. But yeah, this this is a cool thing. This is a, gosh, like so many things. They're just the exact yes, yeah, ripped off. It's annoying. What's this thing says deeper space than ever? Oh, I want to try this before I end the video. What's that? Hi, I'm Beepo. I'm going to swallow. Okay. Oh no. Evil. Oh, he has a gun. <laughs> okay, I think this is the auto level. So we'll just go in to follow you. He's evil, but not quite. I'm evil. I'm evil. 
I'm going to kill you with my Medusa corner blocks. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, there's the Street Demon. Son, stop bullying people. Oh, his dad is the Street So Masterpiece. It's not okay. Yeah. The masterpiece. Masterpiece. Mwah. Mwah. Masterpiece. He's a masterpiece. Masterpiece. Mwah. Masterpiece. Masterpiece. Yeah, there's a lot. Everyone's just ripping it off. That's so sad. Like creating the exact same list for something that already exists. It's, 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 it's. Wow. Next video will be demon video. Goodbye!